Welcome back to another edition of Driving Basics. By request today, we are going to cover parallel parking. You'll see I've selected a top-down video angle for this, and I think you'll quickly understand why as we pull up to our first parking space and then the car in front of it. We want to be parallel to that car and good distance, as you can see, away. And as I make sure that the other cars have passed by so I'm not swinging out into traffic, I'm going to now cut the wheel and angle in, straighten, proceed backwards straight at that angle, and then cut the angle again, cut the wheel again, to bring the angle back parallel. So you can see I'm angling and then backing up straight in and then angling again. It's not a smooth curve. It's a angle, straight, angle, or curve, straight, curve, if you would prefer to say. Here's a rear view and you can see my the rear end of a car is perpendicular to the curb. Now it's at an acute angle until I get very close to it and then I straighten back out to get back perpendicular with the rear of the car and parallel with the side. And you can see how much space I have. Uh, this is the same parking job again, just to give you a repeat of the uh, hand motions on the wheel and the timing of the turns in terms of turning the wheel at the right time. Um, and you can see uh, this is a small car. That's why I have so much space behind me between myself and the car to the rear. Uh, a longer car would fit easily, um, but the angle would be slightly less acute as you come in. The shorter the car, the, the more steeply you can turn into the curb rear first. So uh, if that was at all clear, I sure hope so. <laughs> Drop a note in the comments if you need me to clarify. Um, and we're going to move on to the next parking spot. By the way, don't forget to drop a thumbs up if this is valuable to you. Subscribe and maybe share it with a friend if you know somebody else who needs to learn how to parallel park or could just use a refresher. So here we're pulled up beside this large truck, a similar distance, parallel to the car, cutting the wheel to achieve the angle, straightening to proceed at the angle, cutting the wheel again to become parallel. You can see I'm a little bit in front of the uh, meter there, but as you pull forward, that's pretty much gonna be okay for anybody checking the meters. And again, the rear view, just to show you how the, the rear of the car proceeds and how much room there is with the car behind you. You wanna try and even out your parking job so that there's a little car, a little room for the car in front of you to back up and a little room for the car in front of you to get out. And then when you leave, you might back up a little bit to close that distance and then of course check for traffic and pull ahead safely. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Driving Basics and sorry for the shaky cam.